Hello everyone, how are you doing today? You are all welcome to my channel, Apostle Paul Taiwo YouTube channel. To my recent subscribers I want to say a very big thank you, and to those that have been here all along, God bless you. And if this is your first time on this channel, I want to say a very big welcome and thank you for tuning into my video today. Kindly endeavor to click the subscription button and also the notification icon so that you can be notified whenever I dropped a new video or come up for prayers. Have you heard of our church building project? We will like to use this opportunity to ask for your financial support for the ministry. We are raising a building for the church ministry and this involve lots of fund. In case God has put it in your heart to support the ministry church building project, kindly reach out to us on our contact details which is on the video description, and you can also send directly to the account details on the screen. We will be glad and grateful to receive your financial support for the work of God. For God loves a cheerful giver, thank you. This video you are about to listen to I believe will bless your heart, and help you to come into repentance, and also strengthen your bond with God and with His Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Endeavor to like this video, share it to all your friends, contacts and loved ones, God bless you. It's been close to seven months now. I saw this very troubling vision. I have just told it to two people. This testimony is true. On 28th of December 2014, around 4 p.m., it looked like I had been sleeping I don't understand. How it happened up till now. Then I woke up into another world more real than this physical world. I saw myself with two other people walking into a broken gate. After that gate were two other broken gates. The man leading us was not extraordinary at all but he was young, mid-thirties, as we walked into the first broken gate, we entered into a place so wide, with an impression of a burnt house, but there was no sign of fire. I saw many things but let me just go towards the end of my vision. Minutes later we heard an announcement make way, he's coming, I looked back and saw three dogs. Two of the dogs were very violent, tearing apart everything they came in contact with. But the third? Phew. He was way too small to be their leader but they seemed to fear him. He would give them a stare and just suddenly they would stay calm with great reverence. As they came closer, the smaller dog materialized into a person. How can I describe this being? Let me try. I cannot really say he's a man or a woman but he looked like a woman. Fair, beautiful, slim, without breasts or the figure of a woman. He. Actually he is not a he, he had no gender, he had a very smooth skin like what I have never seen all my life, approaching us with an elegant smile. When he introduced himself as Lucifer I could hardly believe him. Believe me, in the real sense, Satan looked nothing like Satan. He looked more like one of those pretty newscasters you see on CNN. His smile was perfect. There was this charm about him that will make you fall in love with him at first sight, I did. He seemed to be calm, innocent and welcoming. Then he assured us that no one will harm us here. He gave us every assurance that he was in charge, and he was. Looking at him, you would never believe he is the architect of all the evils going on on earth today. He looked so intelligent, informed, educated, morally sound, and terrible. He was awesome to look upon. When he introduced himself at first I laughed so hard and wondered why such a beautiful man or woman would admire to be addressed with such a cruel name as Lucifer. But there was something else about him. He seemed not to be aware of what's going on on earth. He seemed to be dependent on others for information. He asked me a lot of questions and I wondered as I saw his interest in such matters. He is not omnipresent after all, then I asked him where he lived. He said he lives in Europe, note. He looked like a white man slash woman. Something else amazed me. He told the truth. He won my admiration. He told me his story and I started seeing God as unfair, then something inside of me started getting real uncomfortable because I was loving him. Just then, the man that led us to that spiritual world warned me to be careful. The more Satan talked the more I agreed with him. He's so perfect in his speech that his lies are so true. Okay. Let me talk about him living in Europe. Many people think Satan lives in Africa. Possible because of the level of violence and corruption here. But the truth is, 
Satan revealed that he lives in Europe, and then he told me that humans owe him apologies. That they often accuse him of the crimes he didn't commit. Can you imagine that? But hey, I saw his hate for humans. No matter how he tried to hide it, I saw his hate for humans, he said to me that his greatest fear is in the future, I'm yet to find out. What that means though? When I gather the courage I will talk about his connection with Islam. But I am being careful here. My brother other things I have hidden concerns. Islam. Concerning Lucifer, and you are right he is a liar. He also said. The angels hate him because he killed someone. I started laughing, I asked him who he killed and he said that he was the first person to kill. I thought I knew how it was so I said it's definitely. Abel the brother of Cain. But he said no. That Abel was not the first to experience death, and Cain was not the first to kill someone. He said he invented death, he was the first to kill many people massively, and he told me about the war before the creation of Adam. The truth about Islam. Okay one of the truths about Islam is that Allah is not God Almighty. Allah is a demigod that answers to Lucifer. We do not worship the same God as the Muslims. It makes me cry whenever I think about the end of the world as I saw it because many perished, very many. On another note, have you noticed that the Europeans no longer worship God? It is because of Satan's deceit. The very people that claim to bring the gospel to Africa have turned into atheism and evil. So as Satan lives in Europe, his plan is to give Allah a foothold in Europe. Watch it, in less than 50 years from now, if Jesus tarries, Europe will become an Islamic nation. In the Battle of Armageddon, Europe, USA and Asia will play a very cardinal role. I saw the war, I saw many things. After a while, the man God sent to me took me to a place and told me that the end is near. He said that if Jesus tarries till the next 20 years that he stayed late. So he said that he's gonna show me some signs, so I should know that the end is near. And then Satan started working in what looks like earth, he was overworking himself and also in a hurry, always checking his time. He said, son there are many things you need to be aware of in these last days. False prophets. One of the things that mark the end time is false prophets like never before. They will perform so many signs, so I asked him how to know that a prophet is false and he smiled and told me to go read my Bible. You will not know them by their signs but by their fruits so you don't just need to be aware but you also need to beware, that's why I'm telling you all these. Apostasy. I later found out it means the great falling away I e a time where the churches will start going against the basic doctrines of Jesus Christ as in gay marriage, churches will start accepting it. He said to me that USA will soon fall. I saw a white man that looked like a monkey, so abnormal. The white man looked like a gorilla, without furs but the black men there were still normal. And he said to me that the white man is from the USA. That USA is deformed. Increased activities of demonic spirits. He said that evil spirits are using every avenue to advance their cause in these last days. Their target, majorly, is on the youth through music. 90% of American circular musicians are highly demonized, internet, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp etc. I saw a married woman asking a man to send her his picture on WhatsApp and he sent an erected penis. He said to me that there is hardly a young person in the world today that has not been exposed to things like that. Either by sending or being sent to, he said. To me that evil spirits do not multiply there are no new devils that what they do is to multiply evil on earth. He said that evil spirits attach themselves to some things like porn, hard music and as you contact those things they enter you. I saw evil spirits like flies clouding a young boy's head. One of the ways humans open a door for evil spirits to possess them is through their minds. I saw evil spirits following people. They had no good shape at all. 
Some look like monkeys, some look like flies. Some like snakes. Billions of demons, the number of demons on earth is more than the number of humans on earth. Do you know that I saw people with more than 300 demons? A demon can just attach itself to someone's finger, or eyes, or genitals. I noticed some things about those demons. They behave like their names, they have names. For example, the demon called anger is always angry at everything. The demons were going in groups and you could see the demon of anger fighting with both the host and other demons around. All the demons seemed not to agree, they were always fighting each other. I saw deaf people that demons blocked their ears, then something else I noticed was that they were intelligent. The moment you open a door they come in quickly, they were also wicked and stubborn. The most interesting of them is the demon that causes people to have sex. They mostly attach themselves to people's genitals, guess how these demons possess or oppress people? If the devil succeeds in planting a thought in your mind he can destroy your life. Their magic is in people's minds, I saw two kinds of people, Christians and non-Christians. The demons are not able to possess Christians so they go and start occupying their thoughts. But as for the non-Christians, demons lived inside of their spirits. The man that led me said that some thoughts people think are not their own. This is amazing. He said that there is a difference between evil thoughts and the thought of evil. They are not the same. Evil thoughts come from outside while thought of evil comes from the inside. So demons use evil thoughts, every evil begins with a thought. Demons were injecting thoughts in people's minds. Another difference is that thoughts of evil are the thoughts evil spirits send to you. I could see some evil spirits come to people's mind as thoughts and they will start thinking those thoughts without knowing that their evil spirits are working. You need to see what's going on in the mind of man. I could see how noisy some men's minds are. When a man receives the thought of evil and dwells on it, it begins to gain root and before you. Know it the man begins to act on that thought. Every act begins with a thought, but some Christians were really giving the devil a hard time. When he injects a thought they will ignore it. It pained the demons when people ignored them. The most painful thing I observed was when they were ignored. He told me that the temptation of Jesus Christ in Matthew 1 to 20 was happening in the mind of Jesus. So amazing. When Satan injects a thought in your mind, cast out that thought immediately. The demons also tempts people in the area of their weaknesses. I saw the devil working overtime behind the scenes. He Hello everyone. Thank you for watching our video for today. I trust it blesses your heart. Endeavor to like this video and share it to your loved ones, I pray the grace of the living God will continue to rest upon you and upon everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus, Amen. If you have any question or comments kindly drop them in the comment section, God bless you. See you in our next video and have a lovely day, bye for now.